Hello everyone, Tips and Tricks Gaming here, and today I thought I would give you guys a quick little video on how to farm souls in Dark Souls 3. So just basis, like right off the game, I've kind of noticed that like in the earlier levels, it's kind of like just a major pain just to get like a couple souls, like especially to pet, like if you pick deprived or whatever, whatever class, it's kind of hard. I mean, unfortunately, the method that I use to get like a bunch of souls rapidly in succession, like can't be found like instantly at the very beginning of the game. You have to kill a couple bosses. I think it's available right after you kill the cursed tree root boss the big tree guy so if you're at that point uh be sure to check this out actually and then make your way there it's really easy it's super simple uh i'm not sure if it's as efficient as other people but it's it's really simple so pretty much we're gonna go to the crucifixion woods and then it's gonna be in the like the uh the keep ruins so it's gonna be this little one right here and it's like kind of deep in the um through the crucifixion woods like when you find your way through that and fight your way so here we are and pretty much all you're gonna do is simply kill these three people and i mean probably some of you guys already do this and already know this and it's like just a simple little quick thing to get souls but in reality you can actually pump out like a large amount of souls um really fast like just by sitting here for like a little bit it's it's kind of surprising so unfortunately being a melee guy, it's kind of a pain because they have shields and I'm just doing an absolute terrible job right now. But, you know, just aside from the fact that I'm a terrible Dark Souls player just in general, you'll see here in just a sec, I finished. They give 320 apiece per kill. So that's, you know, 1,200 total or uh, 1,200, 900 total. So just a grand. So it's pretty fast. Like it's literally just a grand every like 60 seconds if you're like, you know, maintaining, you know, a quick one two little thing you kill them all and then you rest and it's the reason i use this like more than other methods i've seen on youtube is for two reasons one you can actually get a large amount of titanite shards and like you can get like heavy gems sharp gems uh what else have i found fire gems and then like their stupid weapons you know the little the gur daggers and gur spears but you can get a bunch of shards and a bunch of other loot just from them from when they drop just from the multiple kills and yeah so i mean oh and it also has like super low risk value. Like it's not like some of the other ones where I've seen where you go into the swamp and like kill the big crabs. Like if you die, I mean, I don't expect people to die and then not be able to get their souls back, but it, it does happen. Like you just pull that one stupid move and it, you lose everything, you know, whatever you've had stored up and everything. It's just like, no matter if you die, wherever you see, like in this fast forward clip, I've died like six times. You just instantly pick them up no matter what, like they're right there. It's not like you have to go run and find them or anything. And like, they're always safe. So you always have them. So yeah, you get a K, a whole thousand echoes, or blood echoes, talking about Bloodborne, uh, souls every time you do this quick little run through. And you can like, I am slow at it is the thing. Like I am slow and I end up getting in a 15 minute period. Like I timed it just solid 15 minutes. I got 18 K. So like that's over a thousand a minute, like, you know, every minute. So if you were to do this for an hour, that's 60 K plus more. If you're faster than me, I'm just terrible at killing the people with the shields. So I just, I struggle with it. It's just terrible, but yeah, so like those three reasons, the Titanite shards, the low risk and everything, it just, it makes it really simple. And I know some of you are like, oh my gosh, this is obviously the simplest thing I've ever seen. I've been doing this this whole time. Well, I kind of expected that. So, well, that's pretty much my, um, my method. I mean, I know simple, kind of ridiculous, but, um, hopefully it helped us like a couple of you guys out who are kind of struggling at the beginning of the game, like the level 30 range and you don't know really what to do because the abyss watchers and everything are just they're terrible. I'm just happy I finally got rid of that guy. So yeah, um, if you guys would like to actually see some more Dark Souls content, be sure to like this video or drop a comment in the comment section down below. Uh, I really appreciate everyone who watched this video. Thank you guys so much and subscribe for more content.